Aloha. This is Martina Wing live from Hawaii <clears throat> with the manor race again. Just uh, one of my favorite things to do being with you guys and uh, talk about manor race. I actually have another one that flies through the picture. Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my last Facebook live this year. Um, I will um, resume next year again and this was I thought it was the perfect chance to um, talk about what happened 2017, 2018 coming up with the golds and uh, I, my biggest fan Tara is here. Thank you so much for being here Tara. Um, so where I am I just want to give you a little, um, if you ha it's at your first um, Facebook live with me. My name is Martina. I live on the, in Hawaii. I live on the Big Island. This is my little map I usually show and um, there's a big, uh, the man race you live in on the Kona coast and yeah I live in Kalua Kona and up here is the airport and here's Keaho. These are the dive sites I talk about. Check out all the other Facebook lives I've done this uh, since the summer. And uh, it is a really exciting thing um, to be with you every week and talking about my real, my real true love, the man race. <clears throat> so 2017, I uh, wanted to just look back real quick and two things are sticking out. So I'm jumping right into what, uh, what we're talking about today, 2017. Well, the biggest thing was um, for me personally is creating a book. I'm creating a children's book. Um, this is still my sample book. Um, I created Notch the Rescued Dolphin. It's based on a big story um, that I actually filmed in 2013. Uh, and when you check it out on YouTube or on other links I'm going to give you, um, it has been viewed more than 30 million times. It's a story about a dolphin being rescued and coming to the manta ray dive site and then uh, it was rescued by scuba divers um, and I was a camera person and I had this deep desire to create uh, something else out of this video and uh, I created a children's book. So yeah, I'm, I'm really proud. Um, um, the big thing this year was to get the funding and I did a Kickstarter campaign this summer and uh, had a lot of help but it worked out. We were 120% funded and um, while we're sitting here, I mean, I'm waiting really for the tracking number from the printer. Uh, the books are printed, they're in, uh, actually in China, and they're on their way to Hawaii any day, any, any minute, any second. And um, I'm going to give you a link in the description so you can uh, purchase it if you want. This is a really beautiful present to start out 2018 and uh, to, to share with the children. Um, it's for the five to nine year olds and I think uh, even the big kids uh, will really enjoy this. So this was the um, a big thing for me in 2017 and the big, other big thing in 2017 is um, connecting on Facebook Live. And that was a really big step for me to go live every week. Uh, I actually had to do it in the summer during the Kickstarter campaign. I felt like that's the best way to connect to my, my peeps. And uh, I was kind of forced myself to do it. And uh, it worked out. And then I rolled this Facebook Live experience from the Notch, the Rescue Dolphin um, Facebook page into Manor Advocates. And so since then, I think I've done now 14 or 15 Facebook Lives. And I think that's... Uh, it's a good number to commit to and what is um, that's going to roll then into 2018. So first of all, thank you for being here with me when you watch these videos live or as a um, later on in a recap. Julia has here back too. Thank you, Julia. This is my German connection. It's my niece, big fan. And so um, with the Facebook Live, Sophia. Oh, love, thank you. Live? Live? Uh, <laughs> thank you. This is awesome. Thank you, Sophia. So... Um, so yeah, connecting with people, it's a really beautiful thing for me. I feel sometimes quite isolated out here uh, in Hawaii. And uh, this Facebook Live platform is just something that 2017 it opened up for me. And um, let's roll into 2018 and what my goals will be. So let's stay with Facebook Live. I'm going to commit again to be at least three times a month, maybe even four times, maybe even more. We'll have to see how it all shakes out. But my commitment for 2018 and my goal is to be on Facebook Live at least um, three to four times a month. And um, you don't see it, but there's actually quite a lot of preparation on our end and a lot of discussions and uh, strategy and stuff like this. What, how can we make things uh, easy to digest for people? And uh, so, well, I think I did um, pretty good the last few months. And so I'm going to continue that. I do um, enjoy this interacting um, live with people and, of course, in the recaps. All right, so this is, I have four things I want to talk about. It. So Facebook Live is my 2018 goal. I will commit to more to that. <clears throat> Another thing I will do, I'm going back to Notch the Rescue Dolphin, the book. Uh, yeah, Sophia, I, I would, would love to have you here. So it's maybe a goal for you to 2018, maybe 19. 
and come over to Hawaii. It's a, it's a really special place. And of course, I would show you the man rays, no problem. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so with 2018 for Notch, um, because the story is so big behind it, um, I mean, so many million views already. I mean, I have this stuff on uh, Nat Geo bought the f footage from me. That's a beautiful story. Tara was in Mexico going on an air on, on a plane and waiting in uh, somewhere in a, <clears throat> in a place to, to, for the plane to, to lo how do you say that? Um, go on the plane. So anyway, and she's watching TV there and apparently I showed up on TV and someone on Nat Geo said Martina Wing, blah, blah, blah. So it was one of the beautiful stories that come out of this. But uh, Nagio had bought the f footage, uh, the BBC bought the footage, uh, David Suzuki in Canada had the footage in one of his shows. So um, Germany had uh, several shows about it too. So from a story, um, it's a really, really powerful story about compassion and rescue an animal and uh, of course sustainability problems, you know, conservation, that um, trash in the ocean and stuff like this. So it's a beautiful story and I really feel this story has to be bigger as a children's book. Of course I want to sell some. Yes, plenty. But how do you do that? And one of my goals here in 2018 is to reach out and talk about it and reach many people. And maybe there will be a big publisher one day. Maybe a media company will pick it up. And uh, just for me, as my, one of my gifts is I usually don't wait for people. I, I do things to get to that point. And so I'm going to, yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, it will be a goal. I love that. So make sure you connect with me when you come over to Hawaii. So yeah, one of my gifts is just to, con um, to reach out and execute. This is one of my things I do. So I'm not going to wait that the publisher is going to call me. I'm going to reach out too, and I have some ideas um, how to do that. So that's my second thing. I want Facebook Live commitment, and then the book getting bigger and bigger next year and reach more and more people. <clears throat> we have planned a launch of a new website. It's going to be redesigned, make it a lot simpler. I had my website, Manor Advocates, um, dot com for since 2011 it's uh, old in the website design world and there's a lot of things in the background that need to function better and so we're working on the redesign and I want to say thank you already for to Brent Peterson for helping me strategize on this and executing and Haley of course with uh, design help and Tara you got you're a big big help for me to get this all going and uh, there will be a launch of a new website next year and I will keep you all posted about this of course but with the new launch, and this is really my biggest uh, wish, my, my dream coming uh, hopefully true next year, I want to create a Manta Ambassador program. And you probably have already heard of Ambassador programs where uh, you can just be an ambassador for something. And in many nonprofits, I think, have that. Well, I'm not really nonprofit, I'm for profit, but I have this desire in me to spread the word and all the people that come to Hawaii and see the manor, I said they have something to take home um, and go to schools and go to dive clubs and just share or maybe with their family, family gatherings and talk about what they experienced. And I want to just create the tools for you and it's going to be all for free. It's all something that you can download and take to places and share the mental love that you experienced here in Kona, Hawaii. And this is going to be connected to my relaunch of the website and that's what I'm working on and I would really love to get some feedback from anybody who's well you guys are watching live right now give me feedback on that idea um, I'm pretty convinced of that I talked to several people already about it and uh, yeah <laughs> thanks Tara that's a good one yeah um, and so um, give me a comment on that if, uh, if you think a man time best program if you would go and, and, and do that something like that you know it's like the, um, I just want to share more mental love, it's still a mysterious creature and the more we can reach people out there talking about man rays and um, I just, that's one of my dreams. This is for 2018. Alrighty, and so yeah, I'm coming up to the end of this Facebook Live, but I do have a little surprise for you and uh, thanks Sophia. I have a little surprise for you. I'm going to go, um, I do have a sense of humor. Let's wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's see how this works. All right. I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. I just look ridiculous, but that's good. And um wanted to share with you very quick how Jim and I will... Um, thank you, Sophia. That's great. I wanted to share with you how we um, celebrate Christmas. We pretty much just have a quiet day on the 25th. We will not work. Uh, we have tourists in town, so we're actually busy at work all the other days. And um, just quiet. And not many presents, pretty much no presents. I'm not in a presence 
person and um, we will um, have a Christmas tree all small and uh, the cats will probably take out most of the decorations of it and stuff like that. So for us it will be a quiet day, share with me well, how your, make, make your Christmas day is going to go. And I just want to say in German, Frohe Weihnachten and Merry Christmas. And in Hawaiian, it is Meli Kaliki Maka. And so, guys, thank you for listening to me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.